A ring of disguised self, although hard to obtain, can be a most valuable tool of espionage. Nice. My laptop recording. Audio sync. Welcome to the tombs of time. I'm the timekeeper, and these are my victims who shall introduce themselves now, starting here and working their way down. I'm Captain Sean the Butcher Enver. And um, who is this muffed man? I am Garrett Arton, the Silent Hand. I'm Niela Voke. I'm a barbarian. <laughs> yes, these are our players for uh, slash characters for this campaign. And when we last left our heroes, well, the heroes when we last left them, including myself, we went deeper into the caverns, and we run across some chest that had teeth that we had to slay. And once we left that, we went down this corridor, which we found this pond, which I did not want to go into. Everyone else wanted to go. I don't know why they went into it. <laughs> but it turned us into an upside-down type place. I couldn't. Ugh. But this thing was full of phantoms. I call them ghosts. There's such things as ghosts. They're phantoms and apparitions. And I... This apparition wanted a password. I don't un understand why the password. So I went across the caverns to get another password. And I come back. And now I can control the apparitions because I, I alone have the password. We walked in. We seen this. They called it a dragon. There's no such thing as dragons. So I don't know why they call it a dragon. But we walked into this place. And there was this dragon thing they called it as a lizard. I saw it as this big lizard. It had a sword in it. And I pulled the sword out and this lizard become an apparition. And by the wits of myself, remembering the password, and the mighty fighting of our pink friend, we defeated this apparition. <laughs> that was amazing. Captain, are you... Captain, are you sure you are not embellishing that story just even a little bit? <laughs> so he gets no. like, we'll just have to roll with it. He gets... <sighs> Thank you, Jay. Uh, so he gets an inspiration. Uh, and you get an inspiration because you have plushy. Uh, yes. You have to earn your... No. <laughs> um... <laughs> so, what what, what speaking... about me? I have really cool goblet. That's true. Speaking of you, though... But I have Carmichael. Yes. Speaking of Garrett, however... I know. Garrett. The last thing you remember was a little kobold creature coming up to stab you. And as you raised your weapon to strike back, a bit of the ceiling came loose, and my father had a sneezing fit. I wish this house didn't have paper-thin walls. Anyways, and a, a brick from the sneezing fit <laughs> fell on your head. And you were knocked out for quite some time. Enough that people should be concerned. You got a concussion. But um, you come to as the party is standing over you. The worse for wear, physically. Beat up. Do I take damage? Uh, you're, you have a current amount of damage on your health sheet. On your health sheet? On your character sheet. It's it's set to where it should be for health. Question. Do we get the heal from last session, or do what we have? Because um, I know me and you would, her you took would, a lot of... You would remember that the entity that healed you last time could probably heal you again. Oh, that's, um, what's his face? So, I don't remember his name. So yeah, you wake up to see oh, the rest of the party. Who is that guy? Preacher man? Preacher man's a coward. So, mm, coward. yeah, your party member's conscious. 
Rise and shine. What? What happened? I got a sword. Seems you were hit. A rock. You look down and there's a pool of blood where your head was laid. There's a sore on the top of your head. If you feel up, there's a gnarly gash. How long was I out? It would feel like it'd been about an hour since that happened. Hour, hour and a half. Captain? Wait, what does a sword look like? Uh, roll... Big sword! Roll a, um... I guess that'd just be perception. Or well, no. The reason why I ask is because um, I want to do a history check to see if it's like some sort of legend. Oh well, in that case, we're all history check. <laughs> Would have gotten you the same way. I just didn't know how how uh, particularly you wanted to examine the. Um, Nineteen. <clears throat> Um, this is very ancient, clearly from the Age of Dragons, um, of Elven make. The long sword. Captain. That sword. That is a very old sword that is of Elven make. I assume when you first found the blade, you found no rust on it whatsoever. It was just stuck in the head of a lizard. Dragon, Captain. It was a dragon. There is, in ah, fact, whatever. There is in fact corrosion on it, um, especially the, from about the haft down, where uh, Cap, the captain, would remember it had been stuck the haft of it into the skull. But not so much rust that it's like it just needs a good polish it'll have a pretty patina huh you are doing things very different with your elvish weapons this is a homebrew campaign all right i should say then what i'm used also it's elvish then what i'm used on. to like i didn't say it's like made of myth roller in even still, like, elvish weapons are have never really been one prone to rust or damage all that often. Okay, but this is my world. <laughs> they made it out of something that does corrode. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, ob- obviously. That's why I said you're doing, you're, you're doing it different with your elvish weapons. Yeah. Like, elves also um, use woad paint. In this world. Anyways. Woad pain? Yeah, you know, Woad Warrior. War paint? Woad. The, the blue, like, Celtic Warrior stuff. Like, mm. your master has it. Anyways, so. Yeah. Now we get back. Um, shall we get back to finding the source of these kobolds? Yes. Yeah. So do you proceed back down through the chambers? Can I please go back to that stupid chest with teeth and get some of that liquid to come from it? Uh, you didn't last time? Uh, sure, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. we'll, uh... Teeth? Yeah, roll a nature check. Or that be... Okay, uh, belay that survival check, not nature. My apologies. They rolled it. Oh. <laughs> um. The tooth you try feels dry, but there's a few other teeth you can try. I'll give you one more chance to roll good. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm sorry. You've you've left it too long and it's dried up. Oh well. Maybe next time. So will you proceed back to that final antechamber? Yeah. Everyone? Alright. Hold on, I'm slightly con confused. About what? But well, because I see the room where the chest is in, but all the character pieces weren't in there. He didn't move his character piece. I didn't move character I was asking, and apparently it was a waste of time. Because <laughs> there's mean, nothing left. If you'd rolled good, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you I'm assuming you proceed back down. Yes. All right. I uh, will say wherever you, it is, you go straight through the the chamber. As you're going through Garrett for the first time, you see this uh, cathedral design, this in underground cathedral, uh, with kobold just scattered across the floor. Uh, and then you proceed further into another chamber. I don't know if it's already loaded in for y'all. Uh, you can put your character token down once it loads in. Um. And, uh, and I'm gonna proceed and forward. Click and drag on the maze. Before you do, <clears throat> hold on a sec. Before you, before okay. you one sec. Please. Yeah. I want, I want Garrett. Garrett, are you there? I'm. I don't remember how I'm supposed to do this. Uh, click on the name, and drag over. Not the uh, not the token. It's weird. It should be either way. There you go. Got as it. you as you come into the room, it's got a pretty lukewarm temperature. Uh, but then, as everybody's as everybody's in, um, suddenly you feel a cold presence, and you hear kind of this ragged, omnipresent inhale, and you see this kind of coalescence of cold and. Um, luminescent mist into the form of a ancient um, imperial uh, person looming at the entrance to the final chamber. You've returned. I draw my sword. Thanks. Don't draw a sword. I got the password. You've what? Returned. Is this? It's an apparition. The ghost. I. Whatever. She... I am King Aventor Theon. Uh, that's not his name. Uh, one sec. I. Put that farther down than I thought I did. One second. Apologies. Um. Uh... I am King Theseus Aventor Rothen. You walk amongst the bones of my people. Your friends have restored my pet to my grave. Uh, Only rest. Yes, Thank you. Can I do a history check to see if I know who this king is? Yes. Um, or religion check, whichever's higher. Was it a ferret or a weasel? Mm -hmm. It was a slinky rat, that's all I remember. I think it was a weasel. It was a They're both the same. I believe it was a weasel. Crap. Ooh. It's seven either way. Ooh. So I don't know who this guy is. No. He did say his name. You assume he was some king, I guess. Unless, the, unless he's lying to you. Um, thank you. He lifts his hand, open palm, as he smiles wryly. And he, as from his hand come out these blue orbules of light towards you, uh, the more they come towards you, the less his form remains until his ill-corporeal form is nothing more than a simple light spot floating. And it 
blinks. And Dumb camera. You all, you all experience the feelings of a long rest. You feel rejuvenated, your health is restored, your injuries close. Um, as this soul has been laid to rest. With your help. Ooh. See? The password works. Duck okay. hammer. Yes. <clears throat> Before you lie, internally bleeding. what you believe to be the final chamber. I have a very bad feeling about this. Um, before you go in, make sure you've restored your health to what it says it's max is, everyone. Yeah. I have. Um, now, are you um, just, have mind? you guys broken open? Uh, she broke the chest open last time. Yeah, those are all broken open. Yeah, I, I broke mm. all of them. Okay. There's rotten okay. in most of them. Unfortunately. Oh, yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that. Is Nella carrying Carmichael? Yes, of course. Okay. I will put him off screen. You proceed into the final chamber. Who goes first? All right. As you enter, it's not big. In fact, it's, it's that not big. Ah. As you enter, uh, you see with his back to you um, this cloaked kobold with withered pale skin, his scales um, knurled upward with age, um, and he turns to you, and under his hood there's a human skull affixed over his eyes, and he has a staff, and he's looming over an object on a pedestal. I don't like this. Ah, at last, my defense is up, reach. but you will not have it so good. Roll initiative. <laughs> uh, preferably on roll what? twenty. What? What? Dude, dude, what? dude. Are, are you are you like? Were you trying to make him sound like? Um... Okay, one second. I need to have. The Ooh. That was a good roll. Um. I'm trying to make him sound like how I've been making Kobold sound in this campaign, <laughs> but older. I, I, I was thinking more along the lines of uh, Stixies. I have no clue what that is. From from Dark Crystal. You've never seen the Dark Crystal? That is one of the best movies ever created by Jim Henson. Uh, okay. Why isn't I clicked on him? Why didn't it add it to his initiative order? <sighs> Zach needs to do his. Dude, your initiative is terrible. Oh my goodness! How did I roll two nat ones in a row? Why? Why is this website fighting me? How dare you? <clears throat> I will sue. Uh, oh, that's it why. Doesn't I'm, like you. I'm not on the select tool. I was on the reveal tool. Roll 20, everybody. Needs a UI huh. overhaul. Um, uh, there you go. Uh, Alright, if you click on your character... Uh, Give me roll 20. Garrett, if you click on your character and click on his initiative, um, it will... I did. Then why isn't it up? I did. Why isn't it? I rolled a 19. I... Oh, I didn't have it up yet. That's why. You've got to be patient. Uh... Do you need me to roll again? No, no, no. I'll, I'll put you in, and then I'll switch it to the right one. Uh... Sorry, everybody. This is taking so long because, um, digital having to input everything is annoying. Um... You're up first, as this uh, kobold has clearly given you signs of aggression. I suppose you could try to negotiate. He hasn't actually attacked you yet. Oh no, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna run him through. So I take my scimitar, and that was not my actual roll. I merely dropped the die. So 
So I'm going to use one of my other ones. My super sparkly one. Super sparkly. <clears throat> You, you stupid piece of garbage. What'd you do? I rolled a nap one. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Which, which is in total a a five. <laughs> yes. Wait, hold on. A five, uh, da, da, da. It's a nat one, you missed. Yeah. <laughs> I hate my <laughs> life. It's only the first round of combat. Is that all you can do? Yeah. This is deep. I only have one action if I remember correctly. Um, I think, I believe it's as a bonus action you can use an offhand weapon. Uh, but you can't add your attack bonus to it. No, I'm not going to. Okay. Uh, that means it's going to be Yip Yar Wiz next turn. Um, he is going to. Uh, He is going to cast on himself mage armor. Mm. And he is going to... Uh, what's this? Uh, oh, he only has one action he can do. Um, Nella, it's your turn. She's going to very carefully place Carmichael down and put her warhammer over her shoulders. Uh, can you highlight where- Why do you wear? Can you highlight- Uh, where? like back here in the hallway. Oh. Actually, he's- Why back. do you wear the bones of the dead? Let me think of a response while I also make sure Carmichael's in the initiative. Or not Carmichael, but uh, the cleric. Um, <clears throat> he, uh, he looks at you and kind of cocks his head. It's pretty! Uh, <laughs> it's pretty? Yeah. She's going to swing at him. Um, Alright, you roll that attack while I make sure the, uh, the cleric is in the initiative order. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, Let's do... Mm. What was that? An eight. An Total eight. 16. What? Huh? Uh, one second. So it's... There we go. No, that's an eight. What, she, she has it clicked on to advantage. Oh. So if she had advantage, that'd be the 16, but she doesn't. So I'm afraid that does not hit. Uh, um, That's weird. Uh, Captain. Okay. Well, since I've seen her attack, I'm going to go for the attack also. I pull my great sword and I swing at him. Okay, roll for it. That just misses. We're still just not used to the height, the shortness, the lack of height of these things. <laughs> uh, but uh, before your go, or before the thing cycles around, um, Ephesus rolled a low enough initiative um, that he gets to fight this round. Uh, he is going to. I am the one to have to pull up his character sheet. Uh, and he is going to... Can this be done on other people? Ah! Touch! Um, he is going to reach out and... Who's in front of him? Why is this so... I need this condensed. I need this character sheet condensed. I am. 
Uh, he's gonna Wait, tap you on the back and cast mage armor on you. Ooh. Which I mean, my armor class is already thirteen. Wait, it's thirteen plus dex. Oh. No, come on. Uh, he's actually gonna reach out and tap the captain like he did last time. I think he's done that before. No, 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 no. I take it back. I take it back. My it, the total would end up being something else, not just thirteen. I forgot that it was thirteen plus dex. My bad. Oh, you people. He taps you on the back. And you gain mage armor. Sorry! Uh, and as he taps you on the back, you realize, hey, it's your go. Alright, I am going to... I'm actually going to put away my scimitar, and I'm going to take out my rapier, and I am going to stab at him. Okay, roll for it. Twelve. That hits? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Nope. Nope. I was wrong. Not twelve. Fourteen. That hits. Roll damage. Seven. Seven. Piercing. Okay. Uh, you pierce into his arm as I find his character sheet to mark down his dablage. Um. <coughs> uh, All right. You seem to have struck an artery as a big gouge of blood comes out from the injury. Um... Ah! Smack your lock. No. Uh... <laughs> uh, actually, it is his turn. That's terrible because I just put away his character sheet. Uh, <laughs> pulling it back out. Uh... Before he does anything, I say, Surrender now. All we want is information. And he casts Firebolt on you. Uh, does a 14 hit? <laughs> uh, missed. Okay. What's your AC? 17. Uh, because of mage armor, it is 17. Okay. Oh, wow. That's in death. Uh... <laughs> Nella, it's your turn. I want to move, like, over here to, like, do the surrounding thing. Uh, advantage. flanking, so the exact rule of flanking is you have to be directly behind, on either side of them. Uh, pack tactics would allow you to do that, but you're not a kobold, so you don't get pack tactics. <laughs> Okay. I still want to move, though. You can still move behind him. That's more than enough movement range. Um, yeah. So you can get directly behind him to get advantage, yeah. Uh, cool. You may roll your attack if you want. Cool. Roll that hits. Team, I guess. Roll damage. Nine. You smack him in the back as he kind of crumples forward. Um, and below you, <laughs> you see for a blurry second this object on a pedestal. Um, that he was hovering over. Um, he doesn't seem completely dead yet. Come in. Um, I'm getting a delivery of food. Thank you. Um, popcorn. May um, I do a perception check to see what is on this pedestal? Um, sure. Um, 
I'll what be, is I'll my perception anyway? I'll say that's a disadvantage because you're in combat and he's between yeah. you and the object. Uh, what was I looking up? Oh, I was looking up his character. I need to just move his character sheet to the top because he's a boss. Uh, about. Uh, Alright, that was Ten? Me. You can't really make out what it is. Um, uh, okay, so eight damage. Oh, goodness. He, uh, he looks badly, badly hurt. He's, um, his form looks very Wait, crumbled. eight? No, it's supposed to be nine. He's holding his staff. Uh, huh? He took nine damage? Yeah. Okay. So you still look Nine bludgeoning from, from, uh, Null's attack. Okay, he looks terribly, horribly hurt. Uh... Captain, it's your turn. I move to here and swing my sword. Where is it? Great here? sword again. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, roll for it. That, <laughs> that hits real damage. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, if you behead him... How do you want to do this? This a complete slash across the chest. You just go through the chest. He just looks up at you like, ah! And then blood as the two halves slide away from each other. And his form falls back the other way. Um, you're now left in the center of the room with a pedestal. Um, which you can now clearly see. Uh, well, actually, uh, roll a perception as the cleric comes in and quickly snatches it up to look at it. Uh-oh. Without disadvantage this time? Without disadvantage. I want to look at it too. Wow. Matt won. Again. He, he, acts, he kind of shoulder checked you by accident, running in to grab it, so you don't really get it. Uh, Kyle. Oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> what? Well, yeah. Don't worry about my perception. <laughs> Kyle, um, <laughs> your sword looks really pretty. Uh, I yes, got an 18. I want to look at it. Pretty, pretty, it see? You see <laughs> this um, obsidian um, tetrahedron um, as he rushes in and picks it up and examines it. That's a shape. Um, takes over and goes, Strange. Strange. Tetrahedron. Could you pardon me a second? I, I need to cast Identify on this object. Post haste. I, I need the room to do the ritual. Could you please clear out for a moment? Before I go, can I check the dead body? Yeah, roll an investigation check. What is important about this? Oh, dang! Um... You find uh, three gold. Um, three gold! Yay! There's also his staff you can take, though you can't use magic yet. Um, he has a human cloak. I'll take the staff. I'll take he the has staff. a tattered cloak. Um, are y'all leaving him to do his uh, identification spell? I asked a question. Sorry, I didn't hear. What is important about this jewel? I don't know. That's what the identification is for. I will need room to do it. Must there be a reason as to why there's plenty of room right atop the pedestal? No, the kobold was able to do it there. He, no, he was mewling over it. I, I need to draw out chalk on these floors that you are standing on. It, it won't take that long. Um, what is, what are the basic dimensions? Is it one square equals one foot? Uh, one square equals five feet. This is a 15 by 15 room. Five feet. Do you really need 15 feet? Is that too in much order of to an ask? I, I don't... What are you so concerned about? I merely... I merely wish to make sure you are not trying to cheat us out of information. No, I'll share it with you.
I hired you to help me. Why would I be hostile? I will trust you. you. Oh. I know your kind tends to be lax when it comes to giving information. With both humans, what are you talking about? I meant clerics working for the government. Um, remind, remind me his, his uh, standing. He's a he's a bishop in the Pelorian order. Thank you. Um, I mean a bishop within the Pelorian order. You get your. I've never been too forthcoming. Um, Very well. I shall trust you for now. If I feel you are skimping on information, I will have your hand. Hmm. And I leave the room. Um, as the minutes tick by, um, I'd like you all to roll a perception check. Bet. 20. Uh, dirty 20. Oof. Um... 12. Mm. Um. Alright, checking stuff. Captain, what did you Is it raining near someone? It might be. Uh, Kyle rolled a 6. I rolled a 6. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um, Nella, you hear, uh, as you're all just sitting around, um, he's muttering under his breath, but you make out um, the, uh, similar to the, similar to the, the, did, did Carmichael show you his message spell? I don't remember if he did. No? I think he showed off at some point. Um, kind of the same way you hear the same kind of invocation in a tongue you don't really recognize. Um, Garrett, do you speak Draconic? I do not believe so. Okay. Hold on. He is speaking oddly. Putting in royalty free music, probably. I do not believe I speak draconic. Okay. And, um, after a moment, you hear kind of this flash of magic. Um, and hear him go, Yes. Yes. I found it. <laughs> Would you believe that? It's actually here. The theories are true. Uh, no, let's go. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, on the furthest away, I hear it. It's the Iqlu Grivo. What'd you find? He said, Iqlu Grivo. I will return. What of the uh, accomplices? Understood. Hmm? Um. As you enter the room, he rises up and uh, pockets the tetrahedron. As he, so what is it? As he drops his disguised self and turns around to reveal that he is in fact a silver dragon, now standing a foot taller than he did before. Thank you, but I'm afraid that my charade is over. As is your life. I mean, that's Spider-Man, really. Who are you? Answer me honestly. I I am Iktalu Grivor. 
and you are dead meat. Uh, let me clear the initiative order so you can re-roll initiative. He has skills now. Re-roll initiative! <laughs> Click on your character. You gotta click on your character and then click on initiative. Roll initiative. Click on your character token. Yep, token. Uh -huh. So great, we got another lizard. <laughs> you would be familiar with these from your uh, pirate, from your uh, seafaring days. Oh, uh, Sean, these are this is yeah. Dragonborn. You know what Dragonborn? That's a better roll. We should get that six though. You might question where Dragonborn actually come from. No. Yeah. I want to keep the twenty-one. No, you rolled six first. Oof. <laughs> I want to keep the twenty-one. God. You can't be <laughs> first every time. Of course I can. I'm the assassin. Okay, so, uh, Yip Yap ha- my- my- my rogue has a plus- Is it like- it's a plus two. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, actually, who has the higher- who has the higher base stat for dexterity between Captain and- and the rogue? Highest what? Who has the best what? <laughs> Wait. Ooh, why is, I why is Carmichael joke. getting initiative? Because I Carmichael did that as a joke, joke just to see what he would get. <laughs> I mean, he's my shot. He's a potential belligerent in this battle. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let him. <laughs> I'll let him exist. <laughs> he's my child. Where is base stat at? Uh, it's it's where the modifier is listed. It's just that bigger number. I, I'll, I'll just look at your character sheets. So, Captain, you have... Are you talking about for dex? Yeah. Uh, that's a... 15. I have 18. Oh, the dex? Okay, dexterity. My bad. Okay, um, no, we, we settled I got it. plus two. My his base is, is 18. His is higher. A 15 uh, and a plus two. You rolled really good stats, kid. Um, uh, did you max on all of your health rolls? For me? For him? Me? Yeah. That's like the only way you could have gotten 24. But no, I just... Uh, when I made the character in my D&D Companion app, I just hit max... Hit, uh, health max. Oh. Should have rolled for that. Um, uh, anyway. Well, excuse me. It's okay, I'll just have to strip the health from you. <laughs> Anyways, um, is Carmichael gonna do anything? Must you be so rude? Must you be so rude? Uh... Long-haired freak. Nella's gonna ask him to play nice music. To play what kind of music? Nice music. Nice music. Oh, that's that's right. Carmichael is a bard. Um, he thought about know. that. He plays coconut sharks in the water. <laughs> um, and he gives you bardic inspiration. So you have a d6 to add to. How does that work? It's been a minute. Look at my handy dandy player thing. Actually, no, it's on his character sheet. What am I doing? Uh, but yeah, I got my, uh, got my books tabbed up with more better tabs. More better. Mo better. Um, you can inspire dot da, 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 for the next ten minutes, so basically for the next round or two. Uh, round and a half, about. Uh, you have a d6 to add to. Uh, an ability check, saving roll, or attack. Uh, attack roll or saving throw. So basically, the yep. checks. Uh, you can add it to a roll. Um, a d6. Because he's a level one bar. Um. Iktalu, uh, however, gets to go. 
<laughs> mm. You fell so easily. Oh my. What's that called? Uh, trap. Ruse. Yeah. Uh, oh, he has Alter Self. Sure. Um, he is going to cast Old Person. Uh, on Garrett. Um, <clears throat> oh! Roll a wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, so happy to be. Oof. I'm mad that it's me because I wanted to do something. Seven. He's watched, y'all. Ooh, I'm sorry. Um, as you as you go to extend your blades, you freeze up. Um, you may make a target. At I hate you. this. Uh, at the end of your next turn, you may at when it comes back, you you may make a saving throw again. Um, yeah, that's all he's able to do without getting a attack of opportunity. And he's smarter than that. Uh, however, either way, Nella, it's your turn to attack him. So what you're saying is you are not planning on taking me for? I never was. And you're not getting your ship either. Um, it now hits y'all that he had silver hair this whole time, and you remember, dragonborns, when they're metallic, or of metallic ancestry, have metal hair. Take initiative, you're natural, and if you wanna live, it's your time to roll. Uh, did you use advantage? I used my bard against Ferocious to make that Uh... I'm confused. What? Hmm? Oh. Uh, yeah, that does not hit him. I'm sorry. Oh. Unless you want to expend your inspiration point to make that a critical. So that's a 22, that definitely hits. Uh, roll damage. Or that'd be a 24, actually. Okay. Uh, you just wallop right into his, uh, armor. Oh! Um, if you take two damage. Nope, nine damage. Did you say eight damage? That's I was not gonna say. counting. Nine. Um, excuse me for wanting to work with round with a halfable numbers. Um, thirty. One, two, three. Nope. One, two, one, two. Okay. In, in the wrong hobby to be not that good at math. My apologies. Um, Garrett, make a wisdom saving throw. Another seven. <sighs> lucky number at an unlucky time. You try to break free, but you still feel your mind enraptured by this arcane grip about you. Um... Captain. I step forward right here, swing my great sword. Go for it. Oh, uh, that. Hit. That hits. Uh. Oh. Uh. You, uh, you basically, yeah, you cut his arm off <laughs> as he grabs for his staff, um, as it lulls room throughout. Sorry, Christina, I hope this isn't too graphic for your sensibilities. <laughs> um, I like to be a little gritty. Um, uh, a little? Well, I'm trying to hold myself back from describing the blood pouring out of his now lost arms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he just goes. Uh, it's back to Carmichael's turn. 
Uh, he has a few spells. Not a lot. You want him to try casting one? Sure. Oh, uh, um, I'll try. Um, I don't have any competitive spells. <laughs> um, what spells do you have? <laughs> uh, you can look at his character sheet. Uh, Tiny magic man. He uh, he he holds out his hand like ah! and a little rose prestigitates out of his palm and wilts away to the ground. That is adorable. I love it. Oh. Um. <laughs> Uh, it comes back to Ichthalu. Huh? I'm just looking at his spells. Okay, it comes back to Ichthalu. Um, so goes... <laughs> um, and he is going to cast. Uh... Wait, why is he? Why is his character sheet different from his other character sheet? He has false life on his other character. Oh no, that was the guy you killed already. Never mind. Manda para Uh. He is going to. Oh, by the way, the mage armor on you, Garrett, dropped. Um. He. Oh, he. I, he could have cast shield. Oh well. Uh. <clears throat> oh, that's a terrible idea. Okay, I'm gonna have to roll something real quick to see what his decision is. Um. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Um, what's the damage of this? Hmm. Um, okay, he's not too desperate just yet. Okay. Um, he is going to cast Mage Armor on himself. means his AC is temporarily going to become a little higher. Yes. Um, apologies for time consumption. Um, Sorry. Nila. Twenty-three. Ooh. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> <laughs> I want to squash this man into the ground oh, for damage. lying to me. <laughs> you sit on a throne of lie. <laughs> I sit on no throne. <laughs> uh, no, he does. No, no, no. He, 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 yeah. He's asking you to quote Elf. Uh. <laughs> oh, I know what that I is. I see no god up here except for me. Um, I know him. I know him. Okay. Um, he <laughs> looks excruciatingly hurt. All of a sudden, Good. he severely misjudged and now regrets not taking his Jurassic measures on his last go. Uh, Jurassic. Jurassic. Yep. Garrett, roll a wisdom save. I swear, if I, you know what? No, I'm not using that die. Grab my, some of my other dice. Maybe the roll twenty dice. I, I am now learning. I, I I am now learning that um, metal dice probably is not the best way to go. You're great, in my opinion. I don't know why you're having. Such That's a better. Thirteen. Um, what's his spell save DC? like a 15, isn't it? Roll with advantage. An outside force is having mercy on you. 
<laughs> Did you do worse? Freaking one. You feel the grip tighten. <laughs> Um, wait, 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 one second, one, one second, please. What? Uh, one, one thing I noticed in hold person is, uh, in duration, it says concentration up to one minute. Oh, that's right, it's concentration. Here, let him roll a concentration check. After his arm got cut off? Because, yeah, I was going to say that because pretty much the entire time he's been getting hit, that would lose content, that would make him lose concentration. Uh, oh, that's right, I didn't do click it twice. Oh, man! I didn't mean to click twice, but all of those with disadvantage, which I would have given him for everything, um, yeah, he keeps concentration somehow. He's just really ticked at y'all. I hate you. I hate me too. Mind over mind. I, I, I really, I, I really hate you. It's a dice! Pain doesn't exist if you don't acknowledge it. Dice! Captain. The lying preacher man, I want my boat, I slash at him again. I'm not a preacher! Roll for it. Dang, roll for damage. <laughs> Kyle, you are crushing it. Cut today. off his other arm. Black knight um, him. You. You do actually, uh, gash, gash him, and he falls to his knees, um, as blood is just pooling down all his right side. Um, Don't kneel before me. I'm not going to knight you. Get up and fight me. Carmichael, what will you do? What will Carmichael do? How many times? You can use Bardic Inspiration twice, right? Um, what does it say? I think, is it, can you only do it a time up to his level, which is level one? Yeah. Let me check real fast. Doing it physical because that's actually going to be quicker for me. Uh, because this doesn't have to load, I just have to turn pages back. The number of times equal to your charisma modifier, which is two for him. So yeah, he can do it two times. All right. Who do you want him to? So I'm gonna. Or I'm going team. to ask him to give it to uh, Garrett, so he stops becoming worthless. Okay. And he starts singing a medieval rendition. Not my fault. <laughs> he starts. He starts. Hey. Playing, hey. He starts playing a medieval rendition of Cutthroat by uh, Imagine Dragons. At least I'm trying to help. He, he I could just choose not to help. He, he, he starts playing- Yeah, a, trying to help while insulting me for absolutely no reason at the right, same so Garrett, time. So Garrett, you, you, receive, you receive Bardic Inspiration as you hear the chord of the melody of a medieval f version of Cutthroat by Imagine Dragons. <laughs> Uh, Considering I've never heard that song, I don't know what it sounds like. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, uh, that can be Carmichael's turn, yeah. Yeah, that's Carmichael. So that that is that is totally lost on me. Okay. Cool. Iktalu is going to look up at you all as blood pools from the edges of his lips at the end of his muzzle. Um... Because if I can't have this, if the dynasty can't, no one can! Fireball! That's uh, fire. I. I need y'all to make deck you. saving for us. Okay. Hmm. Oh gosh. Trying to figure out. Just hit the dex button? Yep. Dex save. I should specify. Oh. Uh, oh. That, that didn't code as a save. That just coded as rolling a dex. Wait, how do I do dex save? The little box where it says... You, hit the, oh. you just hit the box yeah, that says dex off the side. I mean, even still. Okay. Dang. Um... And then, okay, how does it work when you save? Do you take half damage? 
I guess you take half damage. Yep, half. Um, so you all take. Um, why are those are both numbers that don't have? <laughs> um, I think I, if I'm doing math right. No, that doesn't make sense because that number comes out to lower than fifteen. Wait, hold on. Half Noel needs Bob, to do her death saving 17 throw. Or 18. What? Oh, Carmichael also. Wait. Never mind. Let's take Three. it back. I see it. Radius. Uh oh, 150 feet. Oh no. Uh, Nella, please make a a, a dex save for Carmichael. Okay. Which is actually stalling, so I can pull up a Google calculator. Um. <laughs> Uh, divided by... <laughs> cool. Um, as long as he's okay. Did Ooh. he say? Ooh, what did I do? Did he breach a 17? Oh. Did he yeah, breach he got a 22. Okay. Um, everybody... He, he got a 22. Everybody takes 17 points of fire damage. Uh, as this Ouch. big orb of fire just explodes and the last thing you see before you're, you go effectively blind for a moment is his form becoming a black silhouette that's burned away by the fireball um, as you feel this intense intense burning heat of fire whisk over you knurling your flesh ouch Just like the volcano. that hurt that hurt a lot. Yes, it did. Dropping to the floor. Stupid preacher, man. Dropping to the floor are his robes, the the tetrahedron clinking out. Um, and uh, roll out. I'll grab the tetrahedron. Okay, roll a perception check, everyone. Oh. Um, I can touch it. Let me put this. Let me put this in everyone's. That's in that one for me. Inventory. Oh! I got a seven. How do you get a zero? <laughs> How do you get a zero? Nella, you know because he it rolled a two, but he has not minus two perception. No, I know. I'm just I'm just being a two. I'm Nella, just you notice wafting out of one of what's barely left of a pocket is a slowly burning letter. Give. Okay. You take. Uh, I want you to know this man. Can I investigate the room? Yes. Um, so I said I grabbed the tetrahedron. Yes. How do you want me to put that in my inventory? Um, I'm, it's going to be a handout that you're going to get once I figure out how, how I want y'all to properly notif make note of what its properties are. But for now, as you look at it, um, you notice it's a, a mysterious onyx stone in the shape of a tetrahedron. Uh, when you hold it, as you hold it, you are feeling a strange surge of energy pulsing through you. Uh, Does it heal me? No. Uh, uh. Nella, you grab the letter, you pat it out, and you open it up. You don't recognize what language it's in. Uh, but you do have in your inventory... Uh, for now. I don't even know if she can read, to be honest. <laughs> this is just big yip yap. I really don't. <laughs> big yip yap cannot read. Uh, did that make it into your phone? What'd you give me? Is there a new item in your handouts? <gasps> yes, I see. Huh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> this looks like an enchanting table. <laughs> uh, uh... I went the distance. I wrote. I made a prop for you guys. It's. It. I wrote that. Is that is so cool. Thank that you. That is so cool. You'll see it at some point. Um. <clears throat> I am not having anything in my handouts right now, except for Age of Intellect. Yeah, uh, I only handed it to her because she has. It wouldn't be useful to any of you yes. right now, anyways, because none uh. of you understand Draconic I, or have comprehend language. Have... None of you are magic users. <laughs> I have what is that? Where's the handout, so? Um, at least at the bottom of your thing. Um, that was what I rolled for earlier, was to see if he was gonna martyrdom early. Oh. 
There we go. Uh, do you search the remains, O oh, Pilferous Captain? Well, I wrote an investigation um, <laughs> at a nine. Okay. Uh, it, it is easy enough. Um, all that's really left is his cloak slowly burning away, from which a little s silver pendant comes as you pick it up. Um, you find it's a death's head that I will put into your handouts. It... Uh, actually, it's golden, not silver. My apologies. Uh, what was Where's that? The handouts? Hey. I believe it's at the bottom of your section. Huh? So, Squish Boy has comprehend languages. Oh, he does. Can I ask him to decode the letter for me? Oh, you want me to? Oh, okay. <laughs> he, he strums a little. Can you read? Um, dance of the silver tongue. And a little <laughs> arcane flow goes over his eyes. Uh, and he That's looks at it. Adorable. And, uh, oh, um, do you want me to, like, write down what this says? Uh, sure. Okay, that'll be easier. Um, and he pulls out a little piece of parchment uh, that has a song he was working on that he didn't get very far with. And he just starts scribing down uh, what it actually says as I edit it. And I move what I put in the DM notes to the not DM notes. You are useful. I like having you around. At least that was supposed to happen. Copy. Indent in paste. In paste? <laughs> in paste! Um, Nella, as you look at it, um, you want me to narrate it or you? Uh, you can narrate it. I, I don't... I... Oh, I can't read that font, dude. There we go. Yeah. I'm just thinking. Kill. Um, okay. Do you want me to read it or you? I can read it, I guess. Okay. I guess she'll read it out loud. Uh, we regret to inform you that you have been reassigned from the front to the Ministry of Secret Affairs to aid in the war effort. You have been chosen for your magical talents in disguise and mental manipulation. We suggest you begin working on your Calibrian accent. Signed, T. Svarjel. 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 Uh, I mean, actually, you wouldn't know how to properly pronounce the J in the <laughs> in the Duralian tongue. <laughs> did she read this out loud for everybody to hear? Yes, she I did. did. So this means he's not a preacher. Nope. No. Seems he's no. a soldier of some sort. It would um, appear. Mm -hmm. It would appear. What were you saying? Mental manipulation. Mental manipulation. So he's a lying preacher. Yes. May I see the original letter? This is now present in all of your folders. So you can admire my hand writing. It's, it, it looks like Minecraft enchanting table, and I love it. It's actually draconic from the handbook. It's English transcribed into draconic. That's so cool. Oh my I had a productive. I had a productive evening. Um, I know you did not put it. I know you did not put it on here physically, but can I make an a perception check to see if uh, the symbol of the Inquisition Inquisition is on the the original uh -huh. parchment? Yeah, roll an investigation check. Uh I got a pretty gold pendant with a symbol on it. You do. Um, you, you show it around. Um, Seventeen. <sighs> um, you, you see a partial seal of the dynasty where the edges have been burned. Uh, it's possible. Um, Cap your your inclination. To Captain, may I see your pendant? Makes you want to believe, but you are not certain. Uh, as you look at the pendant, I'm gonna put this in your folder. I also drew this last night. 
uh, it's just a totem kampf, uh, a death's head. Uh, mm-hmm. You roll a. Actually, it says. In the do you have? Do you have a symbol? Do you have a symbol for the Inquisition? Uh, working on it. This is not it. Um, okay. But you can tell. Yeah, this would be. From your limited knowledge, this is something that's given to elite members of the uh, dynasty society. So this man was. A so high what does this leader. mean? This means he was a. What high does this mean, Roman? It means that we have stumbled on something bigger what than my original mean? parameters. The symbol is merely. The symbol is given to high-ranking members of the dynasty's military, specifically the military elite. So I'm elite now. Okay, thank It appears you. they could... <laughs> Captain, you could be anything but military elite to these people. No, no, In I fact, haven't. I'm you elite. were one of the few people... You, you are one of, with with your disposition to violence, and well, just your disposition in general. You, if you stepped foot in the dynasty, you would be killed on sight. Um, due to the war, um, the, due to the war, you would know the dynasty has effectively been pushed to xenophobia, just as the empire is xenophobic toward the dynasty. So, it's not just his disposition. He's a human. He's the enemy. <laughs> the, actually, his Fair. disposition would fit right um, in. <clears throat> and I don't love the dynasty. They worship lizards. So, yeah. You're left in the room with the smell. Dragons, of Captain. Dragons. You're left we literally room. just fought a dragon born. So, since... Sorry. Nella perceives the like battle as being over. She's going to drink her motolung. Alright. It tastes like what it tastes like. You know what that tastes like better yeah. than I do, because it's your drink. Um, Carmichael yes. looks up at you and cocks his head. In victory. <laughs> he does the gimme gimme yes. kind of gesture. He is on shoulder. Oh. He paws at it deftly. Oh, you want some? Yeah. I don't know if you can handle this. Uh, can I'm I? I'm almost an adult. Can, Come on. First off, do I need to? I, I need to know in real person, not in game. In real person, this is an alcoholic drink, I assume. Very okay. Much, yes. uh, I make. I want to make a perception check to see if I can smell the alcohol and warn our little pink friend against it. I mean, she's not gonna let him drink. She knows it's alcohol, too. Also, you can smell it. You can smell it, the it, alcohol. Oh, come on, I'm almost an adult. I smelled... I, I, I literally just... I literally just rolled a three. She, no, she opens it. It's... This drink is like 60% alcohol. Um, also, with, with your roll... That's actually not that strong. What's that? What's that cleaning agent you smell? Why is she drinking? Detroit? No, no. Sixty percent alcohol is actually not as strong as you think. Depends on how. I looked up strongest like, you, alcoholic you, one, drink. The it's strongest not alcoholic 60. drink is like seven. No, I know the strongest alcoholic drink is like seventy something. No, that doesn't make sense because moonshine is like eighty. Then talk to Google about that. I don't know. Google's wrong for once. Anyways, um, the the cavern. This cavern also mostly smells like charred flesh. Um, and you can tell from the basic geometry of the place, the room beyond would be caved in. What? I'm sorry. I want to leave. It smells. Yeah. It's, you figure you're basically done with this dungeon. Uh, the the words from a now enemy kind of come back to the both of you. 
You've had your dungeons, you've had your dragons. Can we get going? <sighs> oh, it's stupid for preacher now. Is this the part where we level up? Uh, yes. Maybe. We'll see. Yes. Probably. Not right now, this is the second. Mm. Uh, but this is basically the milestone, this dungeon. Uh, we'll say, you make it back through. No problem. Um, as you, uh, what are your, what are your plans moving forward? I need to heal. Um, you know, yes, the church would be good. very much so. Okay. You all know the church would be good for that. You might also want to report the cleric impersonation. It comes to your mind. Ooh, yeah. So, uh, you just, go, do you, do y'all just go straight to the, uh, the church in town? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Roll for denomination. Just kidding. <laughs> um, actually, right here, do we want to take a break? Uh, sure. Okay, because I could use one. I like I like I said, I can only stay until eleven thirty. What time? So you? it's going to have to be a very. It's eleven sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Not not too long. Maybe five five minute break thereabouts. Not to give me a snack. And do a gospel break if you want to. Uh, yes, please do, Kyle. I'll be right back. Ladies and boys, girls, children of all ages, gather around. Let me tell you about a man named Adam who screwed up everything that blamed God. Because of him, we're all thrown into sin. Every last one of us. All of sin and fell short of the glory of God. None are righteous, no, not one. None are good, no, not one. If we stood before a just and holy righteous God today, we would be found guilty. We would be condemned for our sins. Because our righteousness is nothing but filthy rags before him. But there's good news. Adam 2.0, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, was born of a virgin, came perfect man, perfect God, went to Calvary, died for our sins, took our condemnation so we could take his righteousness, was buried, and rose again on the third day. If you confess your mouth of Jesus Christ, Lord, believe in your heart, God rose from the dead. You shall be saved. Today is the day of the Lord's salvation. He stands at the door and knocks. The question is, are you going to answer? This gospel break has been brought to you by Tones of Time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm eccentric. Well, I'm going to go get me a snack, and I'll be right back. Oh, all right. Come on. Ah, thank you, audience, for watching. Um, I'm Stephen Stoll, as you can see I'm up there. Dot Stephen Stoll. Um, if you want to continue hearing my voice, um, I podcast mostly from Theophilus. Um, I also play in a few campaigns, such as a Journey Through Miro, ran by this person down here. Um, and then ran by Captain Calvinist. I play in Tales of the Aesir. Um, her YouTube is Nola Moore. His is Captain Calvinist. Um, and y'all may promote your stuffs. Um, I am the Christian Assassin, though that name is probably subject to change here sometime soon. I just got to figure out what that is. Um, I also have a podcast that I run. It is called Talk at the Cross, which you can find on the second and fourth Wednesdays of every month at 1130 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you can find the links to all of those in my bio, in my link tree. Uh, it is on Anchor, Spotify, Amazon Music, uh, and as well as YouTube, which you can also find in the link tree in my bio. Uh, Stephen and I also, uh, along with a few other Christian creators here on this app, have created the Christian Assassin Brotherhood of TikTok, uh, which is meant as a community for Christians because there is a significant lack of that on Christian TikTok, and this is a try this is a way to try and help uh, establish unity within 
Christian TikTok. Um, you can find the link to that also in my bio. I also have merch for that also in the link in my bio. And if he's done, then no, uh, Anyone else want to go? I'm done talking. I do D&D on Tuesdays. I stream on Twitch. Same name. And then I post it on YouTube, which is Nella Moore, which is technically my name as well on TikTok, but it's like the sub name. Uh, I don't have a podcast because I don't have time for a podcast. And I'm also not a guy, which seems to be a requirement for having a podcast nowadays. <laughs> so... We do do more female podcasters. I want to make a um, like a storytelling podcast because I listen to a lot of those and I have some ideas, but I don't know how to go about. I need a better mic if I want to go about it. In a sense, that's what Miro is. In a sec, I just poured way too much of that. That's gonna taste awful. Oh well. Anyway, Kyle, you're up to promoting your stuff. Hey, I'm Kyle St. Andrews. I'm a crazy boy from Alabama wears a cowboy hat. Loves to do TikToks. I also have a podcast. I have a merch store on Redbubble under Kyle St. Andrews. Also, check out my website, kylestandrews.com. Tones of Time is brought to you by no one, but it could be brought to you by yourselves. You can check out my bio and uh, support me a little because I'm not actually cut up for blue collar life. Um, so, yeah, if we get to the point where it's feasible to have a Patreon, then I'm working on a me one shot, not one shot, one, not one on one, one on self uh, D&D game to practice a module that may come up later. Uh, to test it and see how it works out um, and what I'll want to tweak. Um, and if there's a Patreon, then there's Patreon goals, then you can hear that there. Um, so, yeah. Help wanted. Uh, <laughs> um, anyways, we're going to return to the Tones of Time. Um, so are y'all just going to head... So we just had to the church. There's only one church in town with a gigantic steeple. I don't know where anything is. Wait, really? There I'm aren't multiple there. denominations? No. Does she, know, does she know what a church is? It's almost like you're living in the equivalent of the reformate of the pre-Reformation era, where it's Catholicism or the guillotine. Why would she know where anything is? That's She's true. not from here. Um... She knows where the water is. Yeah. Um, Very. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yo, yo, Kyle, that that was out of pocket there. One thing that's missing from here, as soon as I can find it. Uh, she needs to find a ladder. That's where it is, too. What? Is this the church? Yes. Um... You enter Pretty small for a church. You enter the sanctuary to uh, find um, it's two people just talking. Another preacher man. Um, hey, yeah, it's the same dude. This is one. No, this one's an elf. Um, mm. a, a high elf uh, with woad marking around him, uh, with a younger human. And as I as I walk into the building, I go up to. I'm assuming he's a cleric or a uh, bishop. You would recognize him as being another a prop, probably a proper bishop. I walk up to him and I say, "Excuse me, my companions and I. Not only do we have information vital." to your order. So we are also in need of healing. Certainly, my child. 
Would you like it arcane, or we can allow you to stay here the night? My, you look I look badder. at my companions. He, he goes, my, you look badder, and his eyes fall on Nella. He goes, strange. Kind of moves over. He's like hunched over, using his staff to help him walk. Um, he, elves live long, but he's still getting up there. Uh, is there an extra track of dialogue going on? I'm hearing something. Someone's got something going on in the background. Um, Oh, yeah, that's that's my roommate. Um, he approaches, he goes, Your kind have been extinct for a long time. What are you? My kind is not from here. If I may. If I may, Sir Bishop. Please. Please. Mm. I must speak with you alone. Oh. And he looks over to the bishop's companion. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He, uh, he kind of cocks his eyebrow at you. Meaningfully. He, he cocks his eyebrow as he looks over at you. I, I... Or as you look over at him. I, I look at him meaningfully as if to try and subtly, without words, say that the bishop's companion must leave. So you're trying to communicate to him uh, that you just want him to leave, but the others to stay? Correct. Uh, roll because it's way. information that I had already given out to them in the first in the first session. Roll persuasion with disadvantage. Disadvantage? Come on, He's man. Not, he doesn't want to leave. Thirteen and eight. No, wait. Take that back. Take that back. I take that back. Fourteen and nine. Business. <clears throat> Let me get the accent right. Business of Father Felanus is business of mine. Very well. I look at the bishop and I say, Are you familiar with the tomes? Uh, we have many tomes. We have religious tomes. We have tomes from... <laughs> Father. The forbidden tomes, but... You know of which ones I speak. Captain seems antsy. I about look at the annoying guy who does not want to leave and say this. What my little hooded friend say is he wants you to leave because he don't want you to hear what's going on. Captain, can you please, please, for the love of all that is good and holy, try to have some tact? With all due respect, sir, <laughs> I know not your name. Um, I could tell that myself. I am Captain Sean, the Butcher, Edinburgh, the mighty warrior of the lizard people, the one who holds the password for all apparitions. I hold the big sword. I Captain understood nothing of what please you just stopped yourself. Please, please. Hush, hooded man. Uh, I got this. The the bishop kind of waves his hand. Captain, what? stop talking. The bishop waves his hands. What do oh, what you what? Where did the you... The tomes of time. Father. He looks for tomes of time. She needs a ladder. Oh, this isn't a character. This is an NPC. I forgot. 
Um, bah. Give me a fables. Father, with the appearance of her, you know that that is not true. You know that they are real. The you evidence sure is quite good, literally man? before your eyes. Wow! What extinct good, man not discriminating against my little pink friend? Extinct creatures <laughs> coming back from the grave. That could be as easy as a clerical error. My kind are not extinct, small man. Um, oh, she needs a ladder to go home. Tigri have not walked a lift for centuries, I'm afraid. I am a Lanalan. I'm not from this world. Lance, get me home. Lance, would you go make an entry in the archive? Lanalan. If you spell it wrong, I will cut your head off. Lance! Lan Lance is his name. Lance, bring me back a drink. I'm afraid we don't have drinks here. I just want water. We do have water. He goes downstairs. If he spells that wrong, I'm cutting his head off. What brings you strange people here? This holy church of Pelor. Healing. Healing, really? for one, but also, Water? as said before, we have information that could prove quite useful to you. Oh, <laughs> to me. What would that be? We believe that your order has been infiltrated by the dynasty. He looks at you in shock. Dynasty? Yeah, on our soil? With all of the efforts to maintain the waterways? Captain, you know that's... He has no clue what he's talking about with the waterways. They're pretty much open. Except for the one line the Empire uses. I'm afraid so, Father. Well, we just came back from a cave in which we found this. As I And I take the tetrahedron out of my, out of my pocket. Yeah, I see it. Um, and what is he talking about? I hand it to him. Waterways. Um, what does he know about the a moment, waterways? Please, Captain. A moment, please. What are you talking to a blooming idiot here? As I tried, I am merely trying to relay information. Anyways. In the process of attempting to obtain this object, we fought a dragonborn cleric. What was his name? Preposterous. Um, roll just a straight intelligence. Yeah. Since I don't, everything. since I don't trust a word this clergyman's saying, I want to start plundering. <laughs> what? I want to follow the captain. I'm Ten? <laughs> Ten. You, um, unfortunately only remember the name he primarily used. Uh, not his true name. Which was Ephesus Tavani. He went by Ephesus Tavanek. Oh. That's one of our... And we found... found we found this letter on him. I show him the letter in Draconic, as well as uh, the um, uh, pendant that the captain gave to him. The pendant that what? Uh, captain didn't give the, the pendant. The pendant Nobody. that you gave my character. No, I showed it to you. I asked to <laughs> see the pendant. That. It seems to let you look at it. Um, yeah, you never took it. You also um, never took the letter off of Nella. <laughs> I am the mighty lizard warrior. Hmm. 
Um, his eyes flash as he casts Identify without doing it as a ritual. Um, oh my. He turns and puts his hand... Uh, he turns and pulls out... A, or his, his arcane focus on his staff glows as he says, um, Lance! Lance! And he mutters something. He looks back. And with, with that, I'm I'm going to have to go because i got to go right. to bed. I, I don't know if we're going to stop the campaign or the session for tonight. I don't know if that's what you guys are going to want to do or really. It, it's really up to him. Um, yeah, I want to go. Well, through, I say uh, that they're too tall. Can I go to the market and buy gun, gunpowder and sell stuff? Uh, well, there's still a lot kind of going on right here. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's the question. Do we want to proceed on without him, or...? I'm fine either way. Okay. Are you okay with us going on with your character either NPC'd or being suddenly whisked away to Shadow? You'll have the video up to review what happens. We can just say you were there. Yeah. Um, I am going... I'm going... Yeah, I'm going to leave with this. Um, while I am in the process of trying... Of talking with the father, uh, with the bishop, uh, you hear... We, we hear a, uh, a loud tapping on the window. And I look over oh, and I see a hawk. All the windows would be stained glass, but you do see the shadow of a hawk uh, blazoned against it. And I instantly know that that is the summons of the si of uh, higher up in the Silent Hand, and know that I must go post haste. Yep. You're so I say, your informant wants to see Father, you. I beg your Father, I beg your pardon, but I have somewhere that I must also be. If you could please take care of my two companions, I will return. I will return shortly. May Pelo be with you. And also, how do I you. take them off? How do I take I, them? I, take them off the board. Only I, only, I move, only I can remove them. Or you could move it into the shadow. Oh. Move it into the shadow. There you go. All right. Okay, that works. Good night. God bless. Take care. Sleep okay, sleep. yep. I am out of here. Uh, Steven, don't forget to send me your email so that way I can send you the recording of what I have. Roger, roger. Um, so, peace out, Joe. Have a great night. Hey! Cool. Hey, Steven. Straight. <laughs> um... Lance, after a bit, uh, returns. Ah, right, I'll talk to clergyman. He has a tell. Hey, hmm? he, Lance returns with a canteen in one hand and a book, a, a big book under his arm. Uh, oh, he, I'll take the canteen to drink. He comes over, hands it to you. Uh, he comes over. They, the two of them, go to where there's a pedestal and they set the tome down very dusty, with some mildew set into it. Um, and he kind of unfurls it, and opens it. Do you approach? Okay. It, it I has approach! That, it has that old church Bible smell. Um, mm, paper. He kind of paws over it. I thought this was only legend. What's on the legend? This. <laughs> it's a court. It's hard to say what's true. There are multiple strains of tale of legend, but. These, this is one of seven gems which hold great power. To find them all. 
be even greater. What kind of power? Oh, it depends on the one. From my identification spell, I have discerned that this one, as soon as the DM scrolls down to the handout section, <laughs> this one uh, allows you to have about a one to four uh, percent chance of, of having help on any task you do. That's in universe code for um, it, it. So the, the extra text uh, reads, <clears throat> um, it allows the possessor to add one D four to any role uh, once per session. Uh, having it in your possession gives you acid resistance. Um, and he explains that if it was reunited with all of the gems, you would be totally untouchable by the effects of acid. What? What color is this room? It's Onyx. She can have it. It's a chaos emerald. <laughs> is it? Also, I shall take yes. <laughs> um, the the ominous kind of ambient music comes on in your head. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's a monkey's paw. So. Preacher man, you're gonna heal us. It would cost you a little unless you want to spend the night. I would rather sleep off my wounds. Cost me a little? What do your preacher men try to kill us? Ah, uh, magic's cost. That was not one of ours. That's very troubling, in fact. Lance. Yeah. Well, that, that's your problem, not mine. Lance. I want you, and he taps Lance's armored chest, I want you to investigate. Get to the root of the corruption and root it out, no matter the cost. Lance kind of cocks his head, like, kind of like with this expression of, that's an awful lot to put on my shoulders, but okay. No, no, no matter the cost. So, the clergy betrayed us, and that cost us we need to be healed, so you need to pay up. I'm afraid your clergy was not, as we do not induct dragons. We kill them. I want to look around at anything that's worth money inside this building. There's a lot of gold. I just want to sleep. A lot of gold. Gold. There's like like I'll roll, I'll like, roll investigation. It's it's gold. There's like candelabras. There's uh, you know the the you you guess the pew bibles have like gold in their their inlays. Uh, <clears throat> it the place is just it's furnished like an old style like uh, Catholic cathedral uh, with so all the they, bells and whistles. There's like gold stuff embedded into the furniture. Yes. Is that what you're saying to me? Yes, Ethan. Can I, can I use uh, her hand axe to try and like pry out some of the gold from the furniture? You're being watched Just... by what you presume to be the caretakers of this place. Lance is armed with a rapier. She doesn't know what it's doing. <laughs> She just sees gold and wants it. As you raise your axe, he just goes, no, no, please, please don't. Please, please don't. It's very unkosher. A uh, very uncouth. Does he have gold on him? He does not act. <laughs> mm. Shame. Why is it? Why can't I? Because these are the moorings of the church. This is our property. This is part of our worship. Where did you get uh, the gold from? We mined it. Someone did. I know exactly. I got an idea. Gold mines. <laughs> I know where they got the gold from. They mm -hmm. send the clergy to betray people. Then we come to he get healed. They charge us for the gold. No, the clergy don't betray people. Mm. They don't rob people. They don't steal. I will get to the bottom of what happened to you. I, actually, I it's a very big task. I don't know why it was put on me. I'm wondering. Um. 
Just Look, that, that, that old man is gonna expect me to figure out what's with the gems and what's with the insur insurrection. Would you help me, please? I want to go yes. home. If we get healed. I will and I get to go home afterwards. If we can find a way to send you home? Home? Where's home for you? Home is... Up there. Apparently so. Hmm. Well, I am not a high enough spellcaster to do that for you. But I, we might encounter someone who can. Um, okay. and at, that, at that moment, there is a knock at the door. Um, and coming in, you see a guardsman. Kyle, you would recognize this to be <clears throat> the captain of the guard by his purple does he have gold on him? Purple sash. Uh, he does not. Oh, another captain! How you doing? Hello. Why are there people? Um, <clears throat> Bishop. What's up? Bishop, uh, there's been some reports of uh, a cleric breaking into the catacombs. Is this true? And uh, he ex they have a back and forth explaining, uh, no, it seems to have been an imposter, uh, a draconic, a, a dragonborn, uh, at which the captain is flabbergasted. It's terrible. News. He looks around. You look the worst for wear. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you walk by me without recognizing me? I just recognized you, Captain. Um, hello? Yeah. Howdy. Uh, well, I trust, I trust, uh, Phil, 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 Phil of Delphia, right? Phil Van, Phil Van, yes. Right, right. Uh, I, I trust you'll get to the bottom. The church always does. Oh. Yeah. If you gather any information, uh, please report back to me. I'll be at my office. And he walks on. Who's he talking to? He was talking to the. At the last bit, he was talking to y'all because he assumed you're the investigation team. No, 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 He needs to recognize that I am a captain. <laughs> he gave you a nod with confusion. I want to sleep. I want to bash him across the head with my hilt. What? They're going to assault an officer? That is a disgrace. <laughs> okay, for one, is your character actually supposed to be wearing captain's clothes? Like well, he's wearing what he's wearing. But the color scheme doesn't really match the Imperial Nave. I don't care about Imperial. <laughs> See, they, they do. He gives you the basic respect that people of different vessels give each other. Um, Um, Lance kind of looks between you two. Well, shall I show you downstairs? Yes. Right. Sure, if that's where we get healed. Oh, and for you, um, Captain, he, uh, taps your chest as a moat of arcane energy wafts over you, and, uh, you receive a 1d4 healing. Is that what he has? What does he have? Let 1D4, me know. 4 hold up. Let me double check. I was doing that off memory. So I rolled the 1d4? Uh, cure wounds is... Sorry, 1d8. Um, plus... Uh, Spellcasting modifier? Oh. Uh, which is... What's the modify? What's the spellcasting mod for? Um... Oh wait, no, I can just click to roll the spell. What am I doing? 
cast Cure Wounds on you. You receive nine points of healing. Nine. You gonna heal my friend? I she, am. She's off to rest. Tired of magic. <laughs> tired of magic. And, uh, he leads you downstairs, and there's just like in the basement level. Basically, there's just rows of dormitories. I want to kick open the first door. <laughs> um, you see a. Uh, you you see a, a basically a monk in, um, like the, these these heart boxers, just uh, pouring over some of his text. Just like <laughs> he moves the book to hide to cover out. himself. <laughs> <laughs> my room. This is my room now. Get out. Roll an intimidation check. <laughs> I <laughs> crit fail. <laughs> you hear no as he throws his hand forth and thaumaturg the door slams in your face. Well now it's personal. I wanna kick open the door. <laughs> <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> Did you open you can give Fine. Second door. I'll knock. I'll <laughs> knock. One minute! Uh, after a minute, uh, coming to the door is this, um... Elves are kind of ageless. It's a female elf who looks maybe mid-age. Hello, how can I help you? Which one of these rooms are empty? The ones on the end, sweetie. Have a good day. Pay Lord bless you. Slam. I got a fun game. Sir Carmichael and steal something on the next round. <laughs> no, he is my child. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to steal something, you can steal something. I'd want to rest. Yeah. She's gonna go to the first empty room and I'm just. Alright, you find it easy enough. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you find the bed fairly comfy. Um, yes. Oh, where's... Is there only one bed? Uh, there is only one bed. There's also a desk chair that's got a velvet pad on it. What is Am I supposed to see this on the screen? See what? The rooms. Uh, no, nah, we're doing it theater of the mind right now. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. What's the floor made out of? Uh, it's... I textured it wood, but it makes more sense if it's actually a form of, like, cobblestone. Mm. Okay, she's going to put Carmichael on the bed, and she's going to put out her bedroll and sleep on the floor. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Uh, Carmichael is cartoonishly minuscule in this bed. He's like the scale of a stuffed animal. Perfect. <laughs> All for me. You're so sweet. He kind of passes just, out immediately. He kind of just <laughs> lays there. Well, before you do, he kind of just lays there, like he's expecting to be tucked in. What? <laughs> um. Normally, Saren uh tucks me in. What is that? Uh, which. Um, Saren or tucking in? T tucking in. It's when you, like, you know, tuck the blanket in around them. The person. She nods, gets up, and starts rolling the <laughs> sheet around him like a burrito. <laughs> there. <laughs> um, not quite what I had in mind, but thank you. His, his forehead just rests on the pillow with like a big, actually, you know, the shape of his head. Uh, it, 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 he, he, yeah. It's unique. He'll find rest. <laughs> she passes out on the floor. Uh, Captain. 
Do you find <clears throat> quarters? Hmm? Do you find quarters, Captain? Is Lance with me in the hallway? He is. He's basically been your tour guide to this lower level. Uh, face palming every time I, Noah's done something. I turn to Lance. Is there a captain's quarters in the premises? We are told by Paylor not to show favoritism. Uh, but the nicest room is that one. I cleaned it earlier. Okay. Good going, Silverman. Sure. Um, and he retires into what you assume is his room. Um, you go in. It's a nice bed with a crimson uh, blanket. Ooh. Good captain's quarters. I lay down. Go to sleep. And you all fade to sleep. And that is where we're going to end this session. Um, hope you all had fun. Solid. Huh? huh? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Hope you, hope you all had fun. Uh, thank you, dear audience. Oh, yeah, I had fun. Thank you, dear audience, for bearing with us this long. Um, tune in two Saturdays from now for the next episode. <clears throat> the tone of time. We'll have one last gospel message. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, children of all ages, gather around. Let me tell you about a man named Adam who screwed up everything they blamed God. Because of him, we're all born into sin. We're all sinful creatures. All of sin fell short of the glory of God. None are righteous, no, not one. None are good, no, not one. If we stood for a just, holy, righteous God today, we would be condemned. But there's good news. 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came, was born of a virgin. Perfect man, perfect God. Went to Calvary, died for our sins, took our condemnation so we could take his righteousness was buried and rose again on the third day. If you confess your mouth to Jesus Christ, Lord, believe your heart, God rose him from the dead, you shall be saved. Today is the day of the Lord's salvation. He stands at the door and knocks. My life. It's thing is, <laughs> thing is, are you going to answer? Yeah. As this gospel right has been brought to you by tones of time. Yeah. <laughs> As Kyle said, yeah. Today is the day of the Lord's salvation. If you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts, but repent and believe, and you shall be saved. Good night, and God bless. Tune in two Tuesdays from two Saturdays from now. Same bat time, same bat check. <laughs>